I've seen a lot of tough eras, a lot of downturns in my life, and times when we didn't understand each other. It seems that we've lost our heart at times. The fog of division, discord, and blame made it hard to see what lies ahead. But after those trials, we all rallied around what was right and acted as one. From the America Together Foundation, Michael Gauss. Michael, you, you don't agree with this, do you? Well, Sean, first of all, as a person, I'll give up my life to defend the freedom of this nation. Americans Together is a documentary about building a cohesive America where no American has to feel apprehension or discomfort or fear of the other American. Look around. America is home to every ethnicity, race, religion, nationality. Friends, America is God's own country. Everything that God has created on this planet is represented right here in America. You and I have a responsibility to preserve this cohesiveness and harmony and take the nation forward. If you and I can learn to respect the otherness of other and accept the God-given uniqueness to you and I, then conflicts fade and solutions emerge. Let's see what each one of us Americans is doing to build such a society. Okay, I'm Peggy Larney. I am a full-blood American Indian and I'm a citizen of the Choctaw Nation. And I am speaking on behalf of my American Indian people and the 565 federally recognized tribes. We would like to see an apology from the United States government for our Indian people of the injustice and the genocide that they had put upon. And also we would like for them to honor all the legal and binding treaties. If we are the original inhabitant of the United States to be included in a cohesive uh, cohesive American, we need to be at the table as everybody else. Thank you. Namaste. My name is Revati Srinath. I represent Hindu Americans. America is a melting pot of several religions. It really depicts the true meaning of this Upanishadic saying, Vasudeva Kutumbakam. It means this whole universe is one big family of the divine. So honor, love, and cherish universal brotherhood. Namaste. As an African American Christian, what I'd like to see happen in America is I'd like to see all of us, all Americans, going from one another's churches and synagogues and temples and mosques where we are interacting and going in each other's places so that we began a dialogue where we get to know each other in a much better way. I know America will be the better as a result of that. Hi, I'm Petra Weldis. As part of the GLBT community and a member of the New Thought Movement, I'd like to leave an America in which diversity is celebrated, where the unique individual expression of each human being is honored and respected so that everyone can give the gift that they have to give. Hi, I'm Mark Hernandez. As a third generation American of Hispanic origin who grew up amidst racism and bigotry in Texas, I would like to see an America where both in terms of ethnicity and in religious beliefs or the lack thereof, that we look at each other's, we seek to understand one another rather than accept our ignorance of one another, and we look to judge one another by character uh, rather than by our shade or our beliefs. What's happening in America today? And you're about to witness a few slides showing what's happening with different Americans. Is that the America we want? That's a question for you to think about. I'm 
Rabbi Yogi Rapkin from Plano, Texas. Is this the America we want for our children? No! Our children deserve a better America than we bequeath. They want leadership that will stand up and tell us all that first and foremost we need to come together as Americans in order to solve our problems. What do we want? Each one of us has a dream. Dream to have livable wages. A loving family, children, home, a reliable car, decent health care, and a comfortable retirement. A majority of Americans want a just society with safety and security. We want to live our lives as good neighbors and let others live theirs. We have a system in place to safeguard the safety and security and cohesiveness of America. Yes, we count these rights and responsibilities as very important in our nation. We believe in the creed that's part of our Constitution of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. These are our freedoms and these are our responsibilities. Thank you. I have a dream today that little white boys and little black girls would join hands in singing that old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we're free at last. I would say judge a person not by, you know, judge a person by what they offer to the world, what they do. Don't judge a person by their skin color, their gender, their religion, their sexual orientation, anything. Mm -hmm. Just judge a person by what are they giving to the world? What are they contributing to the world? Right. That should be our only measure. One nation under God. A land where freedom of worship is a cornerstone of her being. A land graced with temples and churches, synagogues and altars that rise in profusion to embrace all the religions of the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. He calls on us to stand in the other person's shoes, to see through their eyes, to understand their pain. You, you cannot stand up for other people's lives. Why should anyone stand up for you? As a Wiccan American, I look forward to the day when we celebrate the similarities of our diverse faith traditions rather than argue the differences. I really believe one family under God, so um, everybody can really just love each other. Radical Islamic terrorists that took out those towers. You are absolutely right. Go get the radical Islamist terrorists who did it, not the Muslims. 1.5 billion Muslims have nothing to do with this. It is their place of worship and not them. And this sends a very good message to the entire world. All that matters now is what's ahead. How do we come from behind? How do we come together? And how do we win? Hello, I am John Hammond, founder and CFO of Fun Asia, and want to share these thoughts. Nothing ever happens by itself. Someone has to take the initiative and make it happen. Indeed, Goethe says, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans. The moment one definitely commits oneself, providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. Whatever you can do or dream that you can do, begin it. Boldness has genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. Mike is committed and let's help him build a cohesive America. Hi, Mike. I know you for the last 20 years. We've been to Washington, D.C. a number of times. 
we were at the inauguration of uh, President Clinton as well as the inauguration of uh, President George Bush. And uh, we have participated in the political system. We have been a supporter of uh, uh, Washington DC programs for a number of years. This is a time now, the country is behind you and we have the systems in place. Take off and be the leader. Take the center stage. Now it's all yours. Thank you, John. Thank you, Sandy. And thanks, every one of you. We have systems in place. We have seven goals, seven services, and seven symposium lined up to bring about a positive change that you desire to make you feel home. Your home is where it's like a mother's lap, where you feel sound, safe, and secure. That is the kind of America you want and I want and live a heritage for our children. Please log on to our website, americatogetherfoundation.com and do the needful. We're looking for sponsorships, we're looking for volunteers, and we're looking for your support. Script writers, screenplay writers, audiographers, videographers, everyone. Just log on to the website, americatogetherfoundation.com. Thank you very much.